just to know their names. Kunwari. Oh, I just wanna know their names. <laughs> and this jar of candies is my love for BTS. I will finally do a mukbang. Talaga talaga yung PCs. Nakamani ba sila? Bam! I feel like we choose our bias based on their. Hey guys, it's Krista. The first time I've ever come across N-Hypen was when BTS were guests in one episode of Island. Island is the survival reality show by B-Lift Lab. B-Lift Lab is the joint project company by Big Hit Entertainment or HYBE and CJ Entertainment. Basically, Island is where N-Hypen was born. I really love the appearance of BTS in that episode. Sobrang funny nila! As usual. <laughs> Nagnaho pa nga si Jungkook ng food and snacks from the trainees from their pantry. <laughs> Plus, they gave really good, relatable, and inspiring advice to the trainees. And that's why I'm curious na ako sa N Hypen. They're like the baby brothers of BTS. Since then, I've been checking N Hypen updates mm, every once in a while. Paminsan minsan lang. <laughs> Joke lang. Let's be real. Wala na. I started my dive down deep into the N hyphen world na. I've been binge watching their YouTube videos too. Sobrang dami nilang content kahit kaka debut pa lang nila. My favorite content from them is their dance jam lives. Sobrang galing! <laughs> And of course, I've been listen and of course, I've been listening to their I've been listening to their And of course, I've been listening to their albums and watching their performances too. I love Border Carnival. I love all the songs. Walang tapon talaga. Every song is so so good. But my favorites na paulit-ulit ko talaga are Fever and Not for Sale. So, my cousin who's a true engine, a true and hype and fan, gave me this album as a gift. Thank you, Ate Rio! <laughs> it's my first N Hypen merch. I told myself I won't buy N Hypen merch first because sobrang gastos ko na sa BTS parang. <laughs> Gusto niyo ba mag bet on these crystals? <laughs> I should not buy N Hypen merch at all this year, this 2021. If I buy N Hypen merch, then, hmm, I will finally do a mukbang here on my channel. <laughs> Before I unbox this album, I have a little reminder for all of us, for you and even for me. To be honest, my whole life, I've only stand and loved one group so, so much, and that's BTS. And now that I've been introduced to N Hypen, I might start standing them too. But there's one thing I want us to remember. Loving another group, loving N Hypen, doesn't invalidate my love for BTS. Imagine, meron akong jar of candies, and this jar of candies is my love for BTS. If I have a new jar that's empty, aka N Hypen, it doesn't mean na magbabawas ako ng candies from my BTS jar para magkalaman yung N Hypen jar. All I have to do is get more candies, new candies, for my N Hypen jar. Bottom line is, my love for BTS doesn't become smaller or lesser just because I've come to love a new group too. Honestly, there's so much love in the world to go around. 
Okay, game! Let's unbox this now. So my cousin ordered this from Aladdin. That's why the box is aladdin.co.kr. I've never tried ordering from Aladdin. Should I make a video about how to order from Aladdin next time? Try ko nga. Try ko next time. Ako naman magta-try mag-order. Pero okay din sa Aladdin kasi direct shipping to the Philippines and you actually get it faster. So maybe we should try that nga, no? Hmm. Oh, look at what my cousin wrote. It says, To Krista, happy and hype and comeback from Ate Rio. Oh, sweet. Actually, their comeback was in May. So my cousin actually gave this to me in May. <laughs> Matagal na to na sa akin, pero I haven't opened it yet. Kasi I just wanted to get to know and hype and better so that I can appreciate the album better. Gets you ba yung feeling na yun? Parang if I just open it, tapos ilang times ko palang narinig yung songs nila, and I don't really know their names yet, parang hindi ko ma-appreciate yung album as much. <laughs> Kaya mas gusto ko na i-open to pag mas kilala ko na sila. Which is now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Whoa! Oh, I love it now! Okay, Aterio asked me which version I like. There's up, down, and hype. And I really chose up, the up version. That's why she gave me this one. Aterio also gave me this lenti. <laughs> it's a lenti of Jake. OMG! Gumagalo ba siya? So, kwento ko muna kung bakit si Jake. <laughs> Because Jake was my first bios. You know how when you're watching their videos for the first time, not just for N Hypen, for BTS also, yung baby army ka pa, and you just started researching their names just to know their names. Kunwari, <laughs> kunwari, hindi ka pa magiging fan. Dun naman nagsisimula lahat, de ba? Oh, I just wanna know their names. <laughs> Tapos after nun, kung ano nang merch binibili, lahat na nang merch binili. <laughs> Parang ako yun. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so yung first bias ko, or the member that really caught my attention the first time that I was just watching their videos na parang tuloy-tuloy lang, just getting to know them, yung napansin ko talaga kaagad was Jake. You know why? <laughs> it's because he reminds me so much of Jin. And it's not just me, I found out on Twitter that a lot of people see similarities between Jake and Jin. Sobrang similar ng face kasi nila. I don't know why, pero sobrang similar talaga ng face nila. So, when I didn't know their personalities yet, siya yung naging bias ko just because he reminds me of Jin. And then, after watching all their performances, and not just their performances pala, after watching their vlogs, their... yung parang version nila of Run BTS, and all their other content, you get to know their personalities better, and that's how you choose your bias, di ba? I feel like we choose our bias not just based on their physical appearance or kung sino yung pinakagwapo for us. I feel like we choose our bias based on their personality. Kung sino yung mas nakaka-relate tayo, or we see a lot of ourselves in them. Diba? Yung parang, oh, ganyan din ako eh, gets niya ako eh. That's how you choose your bias, diba? Ganun din ba kayo? Kasi that's how I ended up with Jin as my bias. Kasi yung first bias ko sa BTS is Jungkook. That's why until now, siya yung bias record ko, si Jungkook. So parang si Jungkook yung Jake sa akin. <laughs> Pero after watching In The Soup, Run BTS, Bon Voyage, and all their other shows, that's how I decided that Jin is my bias. Kasi I really see a lot of myself in him. As in, ganun din ako mag-react. Ganun din yung personality ko. As in, same talaga kami. We are one. <laughs> Me equals Jin. Krista equals Jin. Okay, moving on. Establish na natin na si Jake yung first bias ko. Pero I haven't really decided who's my real bias or the Jin for me in n -hypen. We'll find that out sooner or later. Kailangan pa ako manood ng mga videos nila. More, more, more content. <laughs> okay, game. Unbox na nga natin to. Ang dami ko nang sinabi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. I love how it's bigger than I expected. Based on the pictures, I was thinking that it's like the same size as regular CDs. Alam niya yung parang plastic case, yung classic style ng CD case. Tapos yung may Tapos yung parang sinisingit lang yung cover na may lyrics dun sa cover. <laughs> Gets yun na yun. Pero ito pala, sobrang mas malaki siya than that. And I love the front cover of this one. Kasi hindi siya flat. Parang itong design na to, it's inside. Pero ang galing na para siyang window. It's basically like a window. Okay, how do you open this? Sino slide ba siya? <laughs> Ganito lang pala. Krista, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> <gasps> what? So ganda. Okay, obviously hindi pa nanood ng kahit anong unboxing of this album at all. <laughs> Kaya ngayon ko talaga siya nakikita for the first time. Okay. <gasps> so nice. Okay, di ba sabi ko kanina, wow, ang ganda ng design na to, para siyang window. Tapos Amazing! Amazing! OMG! Diba tatlong versions to? <laughs> Parang gusto ko na yung two other versions. Nako! This pattern, this print, is so, so, so nice. Tapos, when you look at it from the front, parang teaser lang siya kasi small part lang yung nakikita. From the window, this window. But when you open this, Ta-da! It's the whole design. So from the small, tiny teaser of the pattern or design, BAM! <laughs> Mas malaki pa pala siya. So this is the photo book. But where's the random PC? Is it inside? Nasa gitna ba siya? Wow, dude! Sobrang ganda ng photos! So when the Border Carnival album was announced months ago, I actually saw the concepts. And I really love the concept where they were wearing masks and they look like princess from fairy tales. Sobrang ganda! And I just have a weakness for fairy tales and for masquerades. Fun fact, my debut, my 18th birthday, the theme was a masquerade. So I really love anything related to masquerade balls and all of that. Kaya when I saw the pictures of the concept of this one, I knew that this is the version that I wanted. Grabe, they really don't look like they're rookies, like it's their first year. You wouldn't even think that they've just been doing this for a few months. Wala pa kasi lang one year since debut, pero grabe, sobrang galing. They're not just super talented, lahat din sila guapo. <laughs> <laughs> so where is the PC? It's not here. It's not in the photo book. <gasps> OMG! OMG! <laughs> okay, so ito pala. Andito yung PC! Andito yung PC! And it's a lenti? It's a lenti PC? Wow! No way! <gasps> oh my gosh! Sobrang, sobrang, sobrang gusto ko rin si Hisong. Grabe, sobrang haba ng legs niya. <laughs> yung talaga yung napapansin ko every time yung sa choreography nila, tumatalon sila. Yung napapansin ko talaga na bakit yung haba ng legs ni Hisong. Kasi nakahaba talaga ng legs niya. But also, he's so, so, so talented. Hala, baka siya na pala yung maging bias ko. <gasps> Wait. Tapos siya rin yung Hyung. Siya yung eldest sa kanilang seven. So like Jin, he's also the Hyung. <gasps> Ooh, baka meant to be kami, no? Baka siya pala dapat yung maging bias ko. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uy, ang cool nung Lenti. So this side, he's not wearing the mask. Tapos, bam! Ay, bam! Okay, bang PD, if you're watching... Plenty PC naman sa next BTS album. Special request by Krista. Close tayo, di ba? <laughs> okay. This is the lyric book. 
lyric walk and then ha huh? iba pa yung PC sa lenticular card wait so may PC pa talaga to Wow! Grabe! Sobrang sulit naman ng album na to. Ang daming inclusions. Sobrang sulit nito ha. Ang daming laman. It's such a jam-packed album. So many inclusions. Grabe! This is the CD. And then, this is the carnival ticket. There. And then... Oh, there's also the QR. Oh my gosh, makakaroon na ako ng badge on Weaver's Shop na N hyphen. I love it. And then this is the Polaroid. Ah, no, no, no. This is the signature sticker. This is the folded poster. Wow. This is so nice and it's so big and I told you sobrang mukha talaga silang nasa fairy tale. They look like Prince Charming and Prince Eric and all the princess in the fairy tales that we know. You see what I mean when I say lahat sila guapo? You get me? That's why it's so hard to choose your bias. <laughs> Paano nga ba? And the last one that I haven't shown you is the lyric book. And then we have to look for the PC. Kasi dapat may PC pa siya. Aside from the lenticular card, there's also a PC. So prosulit no album na to. <laughs> Grabe. Technically, you're getting two PCs one PC PC and one lenti PC. Diba? So it basically has all their lyrics inside. So, pwede kang mag karaoke. <laughs> Try ko nga. Oh my gosh! Andito yung PC! Oh my gosh! Di ba prepared na may PC pala sa loob ng tiny thing na to? <laughs> There's a surprise! So, sino kaya ito? Bakit kaya dalawa? Dalawa ba talaga? Dalawa talaga yung PCs? Or what's the other one? I have so many questions! Hype! I need answers. And dami ko pong tanong. <laughs> ah! Oh! It's Hisong again? What's the other one? <gasps> si Jung Won! OMG! Wait! Dalawa ba talaga yung PC? Two? Two PCs? Sobrang generous naman ng N hyphen and ng B lift sa album na to. Pahit ang dami ng PCs. <laughs> Nagkamali ba sila? Or talagang dalawa yung PCs? Tapos may isa pang lenti? <gasps> Yay! I'm so happy! Shocks! Patay! Ito na nga ba sinasabi ko eh? Once I start with one merch, <laughs> baka tuloy-tuloy na to. <laughs> See you in my next and hype and unboxing! So if you were to ask me, Krista, I'm a baby engine. Should I buy the Border Carnival album? And my answer is yes. Yes, it's definitely worth it. And for less than 1,000 pesos, I think it's just around 800 pesos. Mga ganun. It's really, really worth it. Because you get so much inclusions. Sa PCs pa lang, bowing bowie ka na talaga. And it's a really nice way to get to know them better. Lalo na if you're just starting to fangirl and to stan and hype and like me, I love it and I really prefer the up version just because of the concept. But the other concepts are really good too. So you can get whichever version you prefer. Or you know what? Just get all three versions. Para kumpleto ka na kagad. I hope you enjoyed my very first and hype and video. Let me know if you have any other video requests and I'll see what I can do. See you in my next one!